Okay, everyone. I uh, hope you're having a good day today. I want to let you know uh, the family's doing well. Uh, some of our vehicles have had some minor hiccups. There's some brakes I had to do on a motorcycle yesterday. Uh, and also, we have a flat tire today, but nothing we can't handle. Not fun, but not earth shattering either. We just passed through the great city of Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, you'll see some pics from the area here, some of the Temple Mount, some of the mountains and the Salt Lake. It's a very nice city town, interesting uh, Mormon stories and so forth. The very first place we traveled to uh, was actually in our own state of New Jersey. Uh, I would say that a big problem African-Americans have to face is bad service. I can't tell you how many times we've had bad service as if, as if it was the norm. At one place on our trip, they forgot to twist the oil the oil filter and all the oil ran out of our engine. If it wasn't for the children seeing the oil on the ground, we surely would have lost the engine. You know, at one place, park that we were at, a man shouted at us saying, no overnight uh, camping here, parking here, actually. And we were like, well, thanks for that welcome. <laughs> Mind you, there was many hours before the the, the park closed. And uh, that was his way of, uh, I guess, helping us, you know. And that was in Wyoming. Um, another time, just, just yesterday, actually, uh, we actually went to a travel station uh, we had bought food, we bought gas, propane. Uh, they came up to us without any juncture and asked us when we we're going to leave. <laughs> Mind you, we were at a travel stop just for a few hours. We were actually at on our way out, so I just let him know his approach was not good and left it there. And that was in Salt Lake City, Utah. Left it there. So again... The very first place we went to was Barnegat, New Jersey, a very white beach town. Upon arrival, the key would not turn in the car. So we parked the car, the key wouldn't turn. You know, me, the tow guy, others knew it was just a, a bad cylinder for the key or, you know, maybe it needed to be cleaned out or something. Small job, nothing big. But it was 4th of July weekend. You know, we called around and, and found a franchise. Uh, auto repair store that had an electrician that could fix it. Not sure why they needed an electrician, but we went with what they said. They tow us there. Good, uh, good props to Geico for towing us. Um, they tell they tell the tow driver, don't drop the car here. Don't drop it here. We don't have an electrician. No, here's another place to go to. No, let me find another store with an electrician. No help at all. Considering it was the 4th of July weekend, and it took a lot to get it there. I did not leave it. I didn't leave it at that. Um, I asked, is this how you're going to treat Black Lives Matter? You know, I asked, is this, you know, only then did I ask or I asked that, did he get on the phone to find another franchise owner with an electrician? You know, Geico, again, big props to them, um, without charge, towed our car to the next place, and we went back to the beach. A couple of days later, went by. So I called the store. They said um, they're working on it. Next day, I went um, there. I, st I just went there. I had the motorcycle, so I went there. Thankfully, I had the motorcycle. And uh, the car was in the same spot. hadn't moved. He, he gives me my keys saying, hey, we can't fix it. You know, I didn't leave it there, you know, because I'd been there for a few days. I said, did you work on it or something? Um, well, you know, we couldn't get into the shop. We don't have an electrician, so we couldn't fix it. You know, <laughs> I don't know why you need to be in a shop to fix the cylinder that you just need to unscrew it out. But, you know, um, so, you know, my wife got on the, on the phone. She called a, a, a small shop nearby where we were staying. Um, and so I, while I was waiting for the guy to come, I looked at the people coming back and forth, all white. And when they had problems with their car, they were sitting explaining to them, give them something they could do or whatever. Long conversation with me. Here's your keys and get out. So, Thankfully, the guy came. He was an older guy. He uh, saw it was just a dirty cylinder. We towed it to his shop. Um, and third tow, Geico did free. And um, and he just fixed it in 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. Um, 
you know, I asked him, you know, how do you think I feel as a black man coming to your area, uh, primarily white town, asking for service and being treated this way? He agreed that the treatment was bad. He was very angry about it. Um, but he said it was, he blamed it really on knowledge. He said that the, the guys in those shops um, don't have a lot of practical knowledge. They only have online learning. He said that apprenticeships that help newbies get up to speed were not around anymore. Everything uh, is online. I actually understand that because I've seen situations like that, and I agree with him on that point. The only other option was internship, but who wants to work for free, right? Um, he said the economy is terrible despite what the learned say, learned say. You know, I said that the situation would probably be even worse and harder for black people uh, to get into pr these practice, these type of jobs too, and he agreed as well. I hope this shed light on some of the service challenges that we have um, as black people. I mean, there's so many more I can tell you. It's just it would I wouldn't be able to finish the video. Uh, but think of it as if you were in a poverty neighborhood and you need services to get out. Uh, you need uh, counseling services. You need good school services. You need good hospital services. Um, you know, and you're not getting the good service. And I've been in towns like that where it's tough and you don't get the good service. Um, what do you expect is going to be the outcome of kids like that? Uh, you know, I also think that apprenticeships are very important. Uh, we don't have enough of them. You can't learn everything online. In my own business, we've um, apprenticed about, I think, about uh, eight to ten uh, people. And some of them have gone off to do really good jobs in, in uh, design work. Um, you know, we, you know they have, this economy definitely has to be looked at, but the treatment of, of black people still needs to be revisited. You know, black or white, you know, be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Have a good day, everyone.